Today's video, we have a very special guest. It's Toosie Torquilla. <laughs> this is my twin sister, in case any of you didn't know, but most of you will know that. Toosie rarely makes appearances in my videos, and I had to bribe her with 50 quid to do no, this video. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> that so. might be an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what's going to happen is this. I am going to style Dina in my everyday sort of outfit. Everyday um, style. Everyday, 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 <laughs> everyday, everyday style. Everyday style that I would normally wear if real life were to commence. Yeah. Dina's going to do the same to me. And that's going to be interesting because we... <laughs> Why is it going to be interesting? You're not, you're not in work right now, okay? I'm used to Zoom calls. Zoom calls being really professional. <laughs> it's going to be interesting because me and Dina have extremely different styles. Although you couldn't tell from today. Yeah, really. but these are our lockdown styles and right now I'm wearing Dina's clothes and she's definitely wearing her own clothes. <laughs> <laughs> lockdown style is just loungewear, which is basically... Uh, My style. Pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so I'm just wearing Dina's really cool sweatshirt that I really love wearing all the time. But there's some parts of our style that is also really similar. But we're going to try that's today... that's come from our twinliness. Yeah. I've got a few styles, okay? I'm going to go for my really feminine style and put it on Tusi because there's some parts of my wardrobe that I know she would never wear in a million years, but I would love to see her in. And you're going to hopefully do the same for me. Yes. Right. What we're going to do now is you're going to go and I'm going to show them what I've got planned for you. Let's get this party started. Okay, I've got mainly like two styles. A hoodie, big combat trousers, big boots, everything oversized, really kind of androgynous, that kind of vibe. And then I've got the style, which is my more feminine side, which I tend to wear when I maybe I'm in London or if I have meetings or I need to look smart. And that's a lot of um, pointed flat shoes, carrot style trousers, shirts, blazers, little accessories, gold accessories, things like that. And that's the style that I know to see would never wear. First of all, Tuesday hates pointed shoes, so I'm 100% putting home pointed shoes. I've got these carrot style trousers, which are ASOS. They're lovely, lovely green, and they're high waist belted. She likes high waist. Wardrobe staple is a ruffle, stop looking, is a ruffle shirt. My one that I wear all the time for layering, for any time I wanna look smart, basically. It's a bit of an iron, but it's okay. I never iron it. We have a statement coat, because it is freezing outside. And a lot of my outfits are literally like a heavy piece of clothing and they revolve around like the one statement piece. So this is the statement piece. I can't remember what that's called, but holographic maybe. I love these shoes. I've had them for years from Aldo. The reason I've kept them for so long is first of all, quality is great. They're so smart. They give the look of heels, but you have the comfort. It's pretty much match m any outfit I wear. It would match navy trousers or black trousers or green trousers or red trousers even. You guys know I love my socks. We've got fishnet socks because the ankle's going to be on show because the trousers are quite cropped. So we're going to have these peeping through. If you guys have been following me for ages, you know how much I love glasses as an accessory. I think glasses look amazing on Tusi. She actually needs them anyway for work, but she's just got kind of nice clear ones. She would never wear a cat eye. So I want to see her in that. My personal style, I don't know, it changes all the time. I like simple things. I don't like anything too crazy or branded and just kind of timeless. I tend to shop in cars. I don't really like high street fashion or like things that are in fashion. I wear a lot of jumpsuits. I don't have a very girly style, but I do wear skirts and dresses, but it's more, I don't know what the word is, the fashion term. And I wear trainers a lot. I wear flats all the time, really. If I do wear heels, then it will be a platformy thing. I don't really know how to explain my style. I do love like Scandi style clothing. So this outfit is one that I like. One of my daily outfits in London for work or an evening out. It's just a really simple top. It's basically like this, kind of like a cheesecloth fabric. And I'm going to pair that with this denim skirt. It's a short skirt and Dina wouldn't be seen dead in a short skirt. I've never seen Dina in a little mini skirt anyway. And I'm going to pair that with black tights. I'd usually wear opaque tights. And then accessories wise, I mean, I always wear the same. I wear this tram necklace, which I took off my mom. And then this necklace, which is a little boob. <laughs> and my friend Amelie made this for me out of clay and painted it gold. Usually if it's cold, a beanie. So I'm gonna put Dina in this beanie, which I love and wear all the time. Oh yeah, shoes really makes the look. These knee high 
black boots, which I absolutely love, which are from Zara. A really simple, comfy outfit that I think looks good day and night. So let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean disgusting? They're so vile. Let me tell you why they're vile. Why are they vile? Okay. They look cheap, right? The colour is cheap. They're not cheap when you put them on. Guys, I'm having a bit of difficulty. We forgot to mention that me and Tusi have really different body shapes and sizes, by the way. It does not remind you of my graduation outfit when I was 21. She got me wearing a beanie. I've only just been introduced to beanies this year, to be fair. I just feel like I look like you. Vile things <laughs> I've ever You're seen. not supposed to be telling us you're actually. My yeah. whole fucking life. Set this in more. Do you know what? Forget the glasses on you. Instead, I'm gonna put your hair up and put you in big hoops. <laughs> this is, I can't believe we've never done you this. Did you before. go out with earrings this big? Yeah. Oh, That's really dangerous. I got little hoops. They're actually your earrings that I nicked from you from London ages ago. God, your hair feels like straw. What about? <laughs> no bronzer. Well, yeah, but you've got haven't you on. No. Got no oh, you don't need it. Well, you've got fake tan on, so it's fine. True. I look orange. You don't. You look bronze. I just can't make up my mind with the earrings, like. But big hoops just are looking not looking good, so I've got these Heck yeah, we... cuter, a little bit more You've subtle hoops. I don't like the stud. I think they're st stunning. It's <laughs> Tusi doesn't know how to come down the stairs. <laughs> how do you even know where to go with these? You have to keep the sleeves rolled up. That's the swag. The swag. I feel like I'm just Tusi, who's come to Cardiff to visit her family. I feel so tacky. The shoes are horrific. I'm in so much pain. I don't even know how to walk in them. Like, I hate when shoes. I feel like something out of The Witches. You know that film? So horrifically ugly. Like, just <laughs> looking at them makes me want to vomit. I swear to God, I'm not even saying that. The trousers, they're not horrific. I mean, I don't mind generally trousers in this sort of style. You know, when you get certain fits and designs, it's not about how much you spend on it. It's just about, I know certain shops and their cuts and stuff, and this cut just feels like... Yeah, know, they were cheap, yes. Yeah. Right. Shit, yeah. basically. The belt feels cheap, everything. They're well, not... this shirt was 200 pounds. Funnily enough, I was saying to Dina, this reminds me of an outfit I wore when I graduated from uni at 21, except that I didn't wear pointy shoes. I wore heels, even worse. The jacket is comfy, it's not something I would wear, but I kind of like the colours. You look uncomfortable. It's just not me. Like, I would never, I wouldn't wear this when I'm, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't wear this to my own funeral. You're killing me! Here we have Tusi's look. I don't hate it, but I still would never ever in a million years wear it. If I was to wear it, I would make sure that the tights are probably not a see-through. The beanie, Tusi had it on me like this, like properly covering my forehead. Like literally like this, touching my eyebrows. I can't have that. So I would wear it more back and just show more of my parting and forehead because I have a forehead complex, I think, and a hairline complex. So Juicy's got this cos jacket, but I also have one. So this is something that we both love anyway, this jacket. Like this. That one, all the black cos. The black cos one over there. Yeah. What this has taught me is I really like accessories and too many details, potentially. But I still think that outfit looks so nice on you. an Arab newsreader. That's exactly what I look like. I just feel like... I just feel like I'm you. I just feel like I'm too. Yeah, but what style would you call this? It's a very classic, timeless look. Because I remember girls would wear this like 20 years ago. Yeah. Mine's very Victorian. Queen Victoria? I feel like this is a high street interview look. Lovely. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos of me and Tusi. I've really enjoyed doing this because I can't believe we've never done this. We're 31. How have, we never, how have we never done this experiment? It's so fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Maybe 2CK. Bye! Guys, we just filmed a TikTok real transition video. So we thought we'd show you what it looks like when we're just in our own styles. And suddenly everything makes so much sense. Like this style definitely suits me more. And I just feel comfortable and at ease in this And style. you just look like juicy. Just makes so much sense. You see how different everything is. It's actually crazy. Just thought we'd put that in there just so things make sense. Bye!